It has been one year since George Floyd's death sparked outrage across the country. Former police officer Derek Chauvin was convicted last month in Floyd's death. And Eric had a cost joining us live with details on how people here locally are marking this anniversary. Good morning, Eric. Had a Good morning, Leo. Well, it was a moment in history that we all will be remembering for sure. Learning that the former Minneapolis police officer had his knee on Floyd's neck for several minutes. Some say traumatizing to even talk about. Here in Rochester, following his death, a movement began where people marched through the streets saying no justice, no peace, and say his name. Community Justice Initiative is one of the activist groups that came together more formally after these events. Activist Tatiana Welch says after Floyd, it was Daniel Prude and then the nine-year-old girl pepper sprayed by police here in Rochester that all drove the work of writing bills and grabbing attention of our city through more protesting. One of the bills, Daniel's Law, a legislation that would establish state and regional mental health response councils, specifically for those mental health crisis calls like the ones of Prude and others. They want the people in power to listen to them and they want to be taken serious. They want their funds to be used to protect the community that they serve, you know, things like that, reallocating money, you know, we use the word defunding, but when we say defunding, we mean reallocation to better services for our community, including mental health, including the um, with the, the FIT team, and maybe redoing the, um, the PIC team if, if we could, because there's little flaws there. Walt says the movement has been working on having shorter protests to avoid what she calls infiltration. She says last year when riots broke out, that was a false representation of their activist group, and they're working on discouraging that moving forward. In Rochester, Eric had a cost. News 8. All right, Erica, thank you for that. A jury convicted former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin in the death of George Floyd in April. He will be sentenced on June 25th.